One of the first skills you are introduced to in studying quantity surveying is how to perform a construction takeoff. But what is a takeoff? What purpose does it serve? And does it still have a place in modern day quantity surveying with the introduction of new 3D rendering technologies such as BIM? In this video, we will aim to address all of these questions, giving you a basic understanding of this possibly ancient practice. Before we begin, if you are enjoying these types of videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon to get alerts when we upload new content. Also, congratulations to the CELT, who won our Excel template competition. Thank you to everyone who took part. If you're still interested in purchasing our lifetime template bundle, there's a 50% off code in the description of this video, valid until the end of April 2021. You'll often hear people refer to a construction takeoff as a material takeoff. The reason for this is because one of the main purposes of a takeoff is to determine the material required to complete a construction project, in addition to the amount of material requiring disposal. These quantities are then used to form something called a Bill of Quantities, or BOQ for short. Items in the BOQ are then linked to rates which cover the labour, plant and material costs required to carry out the works. Breaking down a project in this way allows for the price to be broken down into key elements, enabling effective estimating, pricing, cash flow forecasting and any value engineering to take place. A link to one of our videos detailing bills of quantities can be found in the description of this video. So how is a takeoff executed? It all starts with the design. An appointed designer will work with the client to determine the desired outcome for a particular project. The designer will then use their skills and expertise to transform what was before just an idea into a realistic and achievable design package which includes drawings and a specification. These documents, which contain the technical details of a project, are then passed to a quantity surveyor who will perform a construction takeoff. To perform the takeoff, you will need a scale ruler, a pen slash pencil, a calculator, and some dim paper, also known as dimension paper. By the way, we've left a link in this video to a free dim paper template download, so you can attempt your very own construction takeoff. The dim paper will be used to record the construction takeoff along with any relevant workings. The start of the takeoff acts as the project introduction, containing the project title, job number, initials of the taker off, and any drawing references. Next you'll find the takeoff list, which details the different elements of the project in the order they are being taken off, from substructure to superstructure to internal finishes. After the takeoff list, a dimension check is carried out, where the dimensions detailed in the construction drawing are checked to see if they line up with the overall dimensions of the site. After this we get into the main purpose of the dim paper, and why it is laid out how it is. The dim paper consists of four columns, which are repeated on the left and the right hand side of the sheet. Three smaller columns, and one larger column. The middle of the three smaller columns is the most important. This is called the dimension column. Here the quantity surveyor will input their dimensions or measurements. This measurement is normally presented in metres to two decimal places. The first column is called the timesing column, used where we are measuring more than one duplicate item. And the third column, known as the squaring column, is the product of the first and second column. And lastly we have the waste column, where we describe the item that we are measuring. This will usually need to be presented in a certain way depending on the method of measurement that you are using. As previously stated, all of this will then be exported to form a bill of quantities, where quantities can easily be linked with prices. By now you're probably thinking, can't a computer just do all of this? The answer is yes, a computer can. However, it doesn't mean this practice is completely expired. For one, there are still many construction projects not fully utilising new technologies such as BIM. In addition, if you're working for a smaller contractor or subcontractor, and only carrying out a section of the works, it's likely you'll be working off a 2D drawing. In this instance, paying attention to those measurement lectures that you thought were outdated will come in very useful. If you'd like to see more how-to videos on takeoffs, let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy these types of videos, why not check out some of our other series? We have NEC series, the JCT series, general construction and quantity surveying principles. Matrone a commercial hub to your business.